floor peel. Lie on your back on the floor. Hands should be down by your sides. Take your low back and press it into the ground. I'm gonna move my hands so you guys can see what I'm doing, but I would ideally like your hands here. Every part of your spine is pressed into the floor. All right. You're gonna peel it off the floor one vertebrae at a time, starting with your lowest vertebrae or where your spine meets your pelvis. It looks like this. All I've done is just curled my pelvis up. Now only my upper back is on the floor and I've actually extended my pelvis and my lumbar spine. Going back down, I'm trying to keep the lower part of my spine off of the floor until all the higher parts of my spine have hit the floor. And then I can rest for a second. One more time. Pelvis moves, upper back and mid back all stay on the floor. As I pull the low part of the back off the floor, I'm working my way up to the mid back, working my way up to my shoulders. This part of my spine actually arches at this point. I'm going to go back down, one vertebrae at a time, getting glued back to the floor until I reach my butt. This is all about articulation of your vertebrae, meaning your spine is a series of joints. They should each be able to move one joint at a time. A lot of times we are so focused on neutral spine position and kind of creating this metal rod out of our spine that we lose the ability for it to move and articulate. So take this slow, think one vertebrae at a time is moving. One vertebrae at a time is moving. This is a floor peel. 